Well, that's how it is as as Vikings fans. We can't. Nothing can ever come easy. You know, even if you think it's going to be easy. Uh, uh, well, but you know what? We're four and zero. We're four and zero, and we won in Lambo. Um, it got a little a little bit dicey, but uh, but we're good. Thirty-one twenty-nine Vikings win. Um, didn't look like it was going to be that kind of game when we were up 28 to nothing and I think had a couple possessions to pad the lead further. Um, so, you know, that was, that was, uh, certainly something. Um, so, I mean, I, I guess it depends on how certain fans are going to want to look at it. Are they going to want to look at the first half of the game or are they going to want to look at the second half and look, the first half was, up until that very end of the first half, was as close to a perfect half of football as you can play as a football team, because you were, everything was going their way in the first half. Offense cruising, defense dominating, getting turnovers, you know, they even had a you know good punting, they, you know, they were winning challenges, missed field goals from Green Bay, like everything was going, you know, everything was going their way. Second half was not. Um, second half was pretty bad. I like. I thought the overall just the game management in the second half was pretty bad. Um, but I mean, I'll go back to. We'll kind of just go first half. Um, um, you know, you come out, you're just dominating on offense. They go right down the field, touchdown. Uh, wonderful little pass to, to Addison for the touchdown. They go down the second drive again. Um, I think that was also Addison touchdown, you know, just, they're just, they're, you know, they're dominating. They get an interception. Um, who got the interception? Um, I forget who got the interception. We got a couple of them, obviously. Yeah. Um, Shaq Griffin got the big one, the big one that was deep in Packer territory and ran it back. And then they scored on that, uh, fantastic little, uh, throw out, you know, to Jefferson, it's like one of those, I don't even know how it was caught, it was just, it was just placed so perfectly, I think that made it, I think that was the 21 nothing one, um, um, yeah, and then Addison got the, the rushing touchdown, so, um, you know, it was just, dom it was just complete dominance, like every, every Vikings fan just had to be just absolutely just loving life i was i mean it's a, it's a, it's unbelievable to, to to be doing that to a team in green bay you know um in a game where we were underdogs and it's like it's, it's like it's, it's definitive okay this you know just shut up about doubting the vikings here we go 28 nothing we're killing them and the game didn't turn on this but it definitely was a was a thing, thing that the, the, the muffed punt by Jalen Naylor and he's only there because they um, one of the few bad plays Darnold made in the first half was there was a third down kind of near midfield and he could he, he stepped up in the pocket could have run for the first down and steady threw it for Powell. Powell Powell got kind of crushed between a couple defenders and he had to come out of the game and he's the punt returner so I don't know why Naylor's the guy if he doesn't know what he's doing but Naylor's like looking up into the sun reaching behind himself behind himself inside like the 10 just grazes his hands but that's a muff and you know and and then they get a touchdown you know right after um, which even that shouldn't have happened I mean fuck LaFleur made a complete fool of himself on the sidelines like you're stomping up and down you look like a child you know you stomp up and down just get all mad and he uh he got a 15 yard penalty for, for the Packers but then but then uh um we gave up a touchdown the next play. Byron Murphy got burned on a, like a wheel route. But, um, you know, even then it was like, well, it was kind of a fluky play. And we'll see how, how things go in the third quarter. And they didn't, it's not like the momentum just kept going from there. Like, it was a while before, it, you know, it would stay 28-7 for a while. Um, but first problem was the offense kind of, bogged down a lot like that um you know like that 28 uh 
nothing. Like that was like mid second quarter, and they didn't score another touchdown after that. And they had a lot of drives after that where they could have expanded the lead. And you know the offense just was not very good. The one kind of decent drive they had going there in the third quarter, um, Darnold throws a pick um, right at the you know just in front of the end zone. Now it might not have actually been an interception because the they they. They reviewed it and they it upheld. I'm not totally sure it was a pick, but um, you know, you know it it stood. But we didn't like. It, it's not like Green Bay then went and got a touchdown right after that. It, it just you know, but but it was just we couldn't. We weren't doing anything on offense. And then I think it was the, it was after they punted on fourth and one. It was kind of near midfield. I don't think I like I wouldn't have gone for it at that point because at that point you've given up seven points and it was on a super short field. You know. You're, you're, you know, to this point this season, you've had no, you've been given no reason not to trust that your defense is gonna be fine if you got a punt there. Um, but that was when they, that was when they started to get going on offense, um, and they get a touchdown, and then just a couple plays later, the classic, you know, pass rush behind the quarterback, and Darnold gets hit, fumbles the ball. They go right down score very easily, and it's and they get a two, and it's just in a blink of span of a couple minutes, a couple minutes of real time, it's 28-22, and we're sweating it out. Um, now they were able, to, you know, they, Green Bay never got the ball in a one score situation because we were able to get the take the ball, go down, they got the field goal, um, a couple a couple big catches in there, um, you know. And Riker hit the field goal, clutch field goal. It doesn't count as like a game-winning field goal, but that was a very, very important field goal um, to, to get that one and uh, bump it up to, what, 31-22. And then we got the ball again, and we were... I know what they were trying to do. They were trying to get Aaron Jones' touchdown. Um, you know, they're like inside the 10, maybe even inside the 5, and they go for a fourth and one. Again, I don't necessarily have a problem with them doing that because at that point you've got to go 95, 96 yards. The problem is, is we let them go 95, 96 yards very, very quickly. Um, this wasn't even prevent defense. This was give up defense. I don't know what was going on. Um, I mean, they didn't have much pass rush. I think they only got one sack for the whole game. Pat Jones got one. You know, and they had some pressure on Jordan Love, and he was playing with one leg. Like it was very obvious. Like I, I thought, I thought they should have taken him out of the game just for his own good. You know, um, you know when, it, when it was getting lopsided there, I was like, you know, you, you know, you know, Lafleur's risking his team's whole season. You know, leave, leaving the guy out there. Um, but I mean, he was throwing. You know, he was throwing to a lot of wide open guys, and I don't know what it was. I don't know if they figured something out. I hope not. I hope something hasn't been figured out with the Flores defense because that's kind of what happened last year is that the defense was playing really, really well for a while, and then it was like they got figured out. I think it was that Bengals game where it, it just out of just out of nowhere they just I think that was the one where they gave up like three touchdowns real quick, you know, like in the second half and it's just it just snowballed from there and then never never quite got right again. Now I think the the body work for this defense has been very good like they've you know they've played you know four games they've played about one and a half bad quarters um and even you can't even get on them too much for like the the, the third touchdown because that two two was on a short field after the fumble and you know and obviously two of the touchdowns today were on short fields but you know it was the it was the ease with which the packers got a couple of those touchdowns there in the second half that that could be worrisome going forward we'll see i mean there's no we don't know like was something figured out you know i mean they were still making plays like we we got four turnovers we got uh you know uh was it uh fire murphy got a pick and a forced fumble just a classic punch the ball out of the, the the runner's hands and like we needed all of it um because Maybe Jordan Love was throwing up a bunch of jump balls and shit, but they were they were coming down in the hands of Packer receivers a lot in that second half, and that's you know whether that's a, a thing where you know they figured something out or it's just we kind of maybe they got a little uh, lackadaisical being up twenty eight nothing, and then you know but it's like you know I don't I don't think it's like the worst thing in the world that it got to uh, you know a tight situation here in the fourth because you know. 
sometimes it's good for a team that, that's riding high and maybe starting to get a little full of themselves. Sometimes you need a little slap in the face to come through like, hey, you're still playing a good team in their, in their stadium. You got to show up for the full 60 minutes because, you know, we saw it. They got two touchdowns in this game in the span of a couple minutes. That, they had that last touchdown that they got, you know, they scored that within, I think, within barely a minute. Like, it's, it's you know, you, know you, can, you, you, know, you can give up points very quickly. And I'm sure, you know, I'm sure they're going to be pounding that for the next week here to, you know, to make sure that that doesn't happen again because, you know, you know not every, now that they're not going to be playing, you know, team, you know, with as good of a quarterback, and obviously, you, had, you would have to say Jordan Love played pretty good in that second half, I mean, he certainly didn't look himself in the first half, and he definitely missed on some throws, like he was missing low on a lot of throws, and a couple of those, you know, they turned it over on downs a couple times, because they kind of took deep shots instead of trying to just move the chains, and, you know, even though a couple of those passes were not too far off from, from being something, so, I mean, they got to, you know, there's definitely some warning signs with that defense, but you know, it wasn't going to be seven points like last week. It wasn't going to be you know shutting. You're not going to shut every good quarterback, every good offense down for 60 minutes week after week. Teams are going to be able to make runs on you. They're going to be able to make some plays, and if you let up a little bit, and I think I think that think that might be what happened. I think they really kind of let up at uh, you know at 28 nothing. You know, and thought, well, it's, you know, it's 20, you know, you know, we've got this in the bag. And of course you presume at that point that the offense is, is also going to do, you know, do more. And that some of this is on the offense too. Like the, the off, the defense was getting gassed in the second half because the offense was not really sustaining much of anything. I mean, even the drive, even the couple drives that they had, that they kind of gained yard, they were, they gained a couple chunk plays and then the drive's over because of an interception or a field goal. Like they're not, they're not, they're not, you know, I don't know what the longest drive time-wise they had in the second half was, but I guarantee it wasn't very long. Um, you know, they just, they just, you know, the offense didn't do a good job. And I think some of that's on KOC because I don't know why they weren't running the ball more. Um, Aaron Jones didn't get his touchdown. He had a pretty good game. He had, I think he had over 90 yards. And he, and he had a couple good screens in there in the first half when they were rolling. I don't know. I don't know why they were, I don't know why they were so focused in on throwing the ball when you're up 20 nothing, and I know people are like, oh, well, you just, you just, you know, pile it on, pile it on, but the clock is your friend in that, in that spot, and, and they had been running the ball pretty well, so why don't you keep running the ball, burn that clock, and then they don't even have the chance to get, you know, to get, uh, to get this close to making a big comeback on you. Like they showed the graphic, this would, if, if they had, if they had completed this, this would have been the greatest comeback in the history of the Green Bay Packers, and they've been around for as long as the NFL has been around. So, you know, you know, but, uh, you know, it didn't happen. <coughs> you know, we get, we, you know, we got it done, you know, happy about the win. Everyone should be happy about the win. Again, it's another one of the toughest games off their schedule with a win. Like the last three weeks are three, could, are certainly three of the toughest games on their schedule and they won all three of them. Two of them in, in very, you know, one of them in obviously an overwhelmingly dominant fashion. Another one very convincingly. This one for half it was very convincing, you know, and, you know, but they did, they were able to make enough plays there at the end. Uh, great sideline tiptoe catch by, uh, by Justin Jefferson on that one, on that one drive. And they hit, and Darnold hit a couple throws there to set up the field goal, you know, and there were a couple decent runs in there too like just enough they did just enough I mean they only got three points in the last like two and a half quarters so you know I, you know and obviously it's not fair to expect you know they're not going to score a touchdown every drive they scored 31 points in a road game like there's nothing wrong with scoring 31 points it's just kind of the the distribution of the points and when they happen that's a little you know you you know. but again yeah I, again You've, you've got stuff. It's always, it's always the best. I mean, coaches will always say this sort of thing. It's like the best, best of both worlds. You win the game, but you also still have stuff to work on to get better. And this team can clearly get better. Um, I think the first half of this game before the muff, that's the best football 
the Minnesota Vikings can play. That might have been the best football any Minnesota Vikings football team has ever played for for about uh, half, one half of football. Um, I mean, it was like it, was, it made the '98 game in Lambeau look like you know a competitive game. But in the back of my head, I always thought, well, you know, Green Bay's going to make a run. They're still they're still a, a good team. Um, you know, maybe the, and maybe this would have been even more competitive if Jordan Love had been fully healthy. Um, you know, he's a he's a he's a hell of a quarterback. You got to watch out. And you know, I I, I feel like they they just, they just took their foot off the gas a little bit and, and made it made it a lot tougher on themselves than they need to be. But I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing either in the long run. Just to have you know to get into a you know get into a thing where it is a tight game and maybe it was never a one score game with Green Bay having the ball, but it's you know it, you got to make plays like that drive where they got the field goal. That was a game-winning type of drive. You had to score points on that drive, or they they would have lost the game. I, I'm, it's very very likely they would have lost the game there, um, and they did it. And they got the field goal, you know, and you know they managed the clock okay, you know. But then you give up a 95-yard drive in like a minute to set up an onside kick, and the onside kick wasn't even close. So I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a nervous situation, but it's like, you know, you gotta. <laughs> You can't let up. You can't. I mean, you know, it's human nature, I guess. You know, you're up twenty-eight nothing. You're you're just, you know, us as fans, we can just sit back and be like, ha, 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 we're just we're just kicking their ass. We're kicking, you know, we're we're blowing the shit out of the Green Bay Packers. But the players and coaches, you know, if if they let up, that's how things happen. Because you know, they don't. You know, Packers didn't want to end up getting embarrassed on their home field. They didn't want that to happen. You know, so they're gonna they're gonna fight back, and and they fought back, and we kind of let off, off the gas a little bit, and that was that was kind of disappointing. I mean, it's not disappointing the win, but um, just kind of the way they 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 let up a little bit. You know that they do that again. That you know there's very po- strong possibility that they do that. You know, in future games, or you know, you know, it's gonna bite you. I mean onside kick recovery is is unlikely but if they had recovered the onside kick there they still would have had like 50 seconds and only needed a field goal and you know they would have won it so you you know you, you play they played with fire a little bit they didn't get they didn't get uh burned but it came close but uh you know the Darnold roller coaster we definitely had some of that today um you know the fumble. You know the fumble. It's it's a blindside strip sack. I mean that's never always the fault of the quarterback. But you know he had he had some he had a few. He, you know he had some good and some bad. I think he threw for like two eighty or something like that. You know he had he had some touchdowns again. But um, and obviously that throw, T throw of Jefferson in particular was fantastic. You know and he made some plays late. You know there was the again the third and one he could have easily run for the first down didn't. You know that maybe set some of this stuff up early but he did scramble a couple times really well you know the interception it was just kind of a needless risk throw at that point you know and it might not have actually been an interception but it goes in the books as one um, you know I don't think I don't think anything from this game is like oh the the boom is off the rose on Sam Darnold no he played another very good game I think you you take this you know Green Bay's got a good defense you know you I, I think you would take this you know, performance, you know, every time just about just, you know, there's still stuff to clean up. Like that's the second time now he's thrown an interception, like in the red zone. I think technically it was, they weren't in the red zone yet, but he threw it and, you know, it was inside the five. So, you know, second time in four games, he's thrown a pick in that kind of a spot. Can't do it. Um, Cause that was a drive where they were already, I think in field goal range. If they get points there, it's like 20 or 31, seven, you know, changes the game. Um, but, uh, and he got great pass protection most of the game. I think they got him a, a couple times for sacks, obviously the strip sack, but I think they got him one or two other times, but mostly pass pro was good. The run game was good. Aaron Jones didn't get his touchdown. I know, I know he probably wanted it so badly, but he had a good game. Um, and, uh, you know, you know, Addison came back his first game since week one, caught a Touchdown pass and got a touchdown run, and he had, he had another real uh, big catch on. Uh, oh, he had that like leaping catch, kind of over the middle. At one point, I think that was a big third down. I forget, I forget what point of the game it was. I should print out like the play so I can refer to it as I'm doing these. Um, 
um, you know, Jefferson didn't have a huge game early. Like they, they were up 28, nothing. I think he had one catch at that point or maybe two catches because he had the touchdown, but he came up with a couple big ones late that, that sideline one. That was, that was Chris Carter-esque with the toe tap. Um, very good, very good catch. You know, I think he ended up with like, uh, six or seven grabs for 85, something like that. Um, you know, um, obviously Addison, you know, had a couple good ones. Uh, we, I mean, I think at one point it, it was like in the first half, Darnold completed pass to like eight different guys. You know, everybody got in the mix. Um, and I'll say again, we still have Hawkinson coming. Like there's still that, that element coming. There's, you can tell there's still something a little bit missing with the, with the offense. I think Hawkinson coming back in a couple weeks, whenever that is probably after the bye, um, that will kind of enhance things further. Um, um, and then on, you know, defense, you know, I didn't like, we didn't get much pass rush early. It was like the one downside of the whole first half. Um, but then they started to pick that up a little bit. Only got one sack. They definitely had a couple hurries. Um, it was a Grenard kind of just missed on a sack. I think that was right. That was right before one of their touchdowns. Um, you know, so and we saw like it is, you know, you can't get home on the pass rush. There's holes in the secondary now. These were some of these holes were gaping. I don't know what was going on with some of that stuff in the second half. They were, they were just wide open guys. But uh, you know, like he's a good quarterback, even on one leg. I mean, he, you know, he made some plays on you, and you got to, you know. You know, and some and a couple of those jump balls were not so good. Like there were a couple, you know, those deep shots they took on fourth downs, they were incomplete. Um, and then Fire Murphy got a pick in the end zone. Like, you know, so we made some plays on him, but it's just, yeah, I think he got almost 400 yards when all said and done. It's like, you know, we just hope it wasn't like they've cracked some sort of code on this defense. Um, but we, I mean, we're pretty healthy. Ivan Pace was the only guy out. You know, I don't think we got anybody hurt. Um, Darnold actually got his, uh, he was hobbling at one point after he took off for a little scramble, but he stayed in for the rest of the game. But, uh, um, you know, secondary, obviously there were holes, but they were also plays. Like Griffin made a play, you know, Bynum forced the fumble. Uh, I forget who got the, the other, blank, completely blank, who got the other interception. But, you know, we had some good, tip aways and um you know, you know it's weird like overall you'd say hey very good but then you look at the score and it was close so i mean you know it was just you know tale of two halves but at least the overall was good for us i think i don't think it's a bad thing for the long term to kind of get a little dose of reality that hey you're good but you're not that good that you can just kind of coast for you know 30 plus minutes on the road against a good team but uh you know everyone should be happy because we're 4-0 just like no one thought we'd be 3-0 nobody thought we'd be 4-0 uh we've won we've won three straight games all as underdogs i'm someone probably could look that up and maybe they'll look someone will look it up when the last time was the vikings won three straight games as underdogs um they won't be underdogs next week. We're playing the we're playing the Jets in London next week, and the Aaron Rodgers punk ass he got beat at home ten to nine by Denver and Bo Nix. Bo Nix had negative passing yards for for a lot of that game. He ended up with like sixty five yards, and he couldn't. And the Aaron Rodgers couldn't win that game. We are we're gonna get we're gonna get good next week. We're, I mean, they're gonna be five and zero now into the bye. Um, I'm very confident about that. And then they'll have a big one after the bye because it'll be Detroit coming in. And Detroit's playing tonight. They're playing Seattle. If Detroit wins that, we're the only undefeated team left. But I still would rather Seattle win that game. Uh, the Bears won, so they're so that's the division. And uh, hey, Kirk Cousins led a game-winning drive. It counts as a game-winning drive. It wasn't pretty, but he did do it. Um, I saw some of that today. So every every good every good. There's still these people out there who like every time there's a good play by Darnold, they're like, "Well, see, Kirk could never do that." Well. Darnold also did some stuff today that the previous quarterback got absolutely vilified for if he if he would ever do some of that stuff. So let's slow down. Darnold's played 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 well. But let, let's just let's just calm down. It's still a bit of a roller coaster with with Sam Darnold, and I think it's probably going to be a little bit like that all year. Um, 
but uh, you know, everyone should be happy with four and zero with stuff to work on. The hope is just that the defense, second half, whatever was going on there, that wasn't, you know, like like someone figured it out. Like how can you how can you get them? I think I think it's just as simple as if you can't get to the quarterback, pressure the quarterback. You know, a really good quarterback can beat you, and you know. I picked the Packers to win the division this year because of Jordan Love. And, you know, so, you know, that can happen. Like, a, a, you know, a good quarterback can get hot, even against a good defense. I mean, hell, go back to the Minneapolis Miracle game. Drew Brees got hot as hell for a half against the Zimmer defense, and look what happened. Like, it can happen. You know, you know, it's just, it's just, you, you, I, I, I don't. I'm not saying that, that that's what happened. That they just kind of got up twenty nothing. Just kind of were like, okay, we're, we don't have to really do anything the rest of the game. We're just going to kind of cruise. But you know, it's it's a good lesson to learn in a win. Um, and you know, I, I'm very confident they're going to beat uh, beat the Jets and go to five and zero. And then they'll have a bye. And the last time we were five and zero after a bye, it all fell apart. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't want it to happen. Um, you know. I still think there's another level, you know, there's, there's still stuff to work on like this, like even the, you know, not last week, last week was, they were basically just rolling the whole way, you know, but even in like the 49er game, there were some issues kind of, you know, second half kind of finishing the game off and they obviously had issues today finishing the game off, but they can work on that. And hopefully, hopefully KOC is willing to run the ball a little more in the second half. Like it's okay to run the ball. I know, especially, especially when Darnold started to get a little rattled with, you know, with, you know, the pressure and the sack and, you know, a strip sack and the pick and all these things. Like, it's okay to run the ball. It's okay to go, like, run, run, pass maybe in a, in a, in a set. Like, it's okay. Like, run the ball a little bit. Aaron Jones running very well. You know, um, you know that's kind of been a thing with KOC the whole way as it, since he's been the coach. It's like he's not, you know, he struggles sometimes to, to really do the proper balance of things, I think. But, you know, again, you can work on stuff at 4-0. Uh, you know, obviously now you're up one, you know, with the division, you're up you're up an extra game now in Green Bay. We get them here, I believe, the second to last week of the season. You know, we'll see. Well, who knows what the situation will be that by then. That, might, that game might not even matter for the division, but, you know. I think our last two games this year are hosting Green Bay and at Detroit. So, you know, you know, but you know, this is a very good team. I'm not going to let I'm not going to let the second other people can do it if they want. I'm not going to let the second half like be like, oh, that's the real Vikings. No, it maybe it isn't. You know, it's just it's it's just the NFL. You can't you can't you know take a team lightly, even when you're up by a lot. Like Tampa Bay won again big today. Well, last week they got beat at home convincingly by Denver. Like, you can't, because they probably took them a little lightly. Like, if you take any team lightly, even for half of a game, it, it can come back and, uh, and get you. So, you know, the Vikings escaped, you know, learning the lesson the hard way. They didn't have to learn the lesson the hard way. They learned it in a win. And I've been going for damn near half an hour, but uh, I will stop and uh, get out and enjoy some of this last, uh, late, last heat from the summer. Um... But yeah, uh, 31-29 Vikings win, 4-0, beat the Packers Lambeau, which is always fantastic. You know, another good game from Darnold, another, you know, mostly good game from the offense. Just got to get that killer instinct going a little better. Defense, obviously still making making big plays, just don't give up the big plays like you did in the second half today and, and be fine. So uh, that's, I'm going to cut myself off now because I've been going too long and, uh, Skull Vikings, and uh, let's keep this thing rolling all the way through this season.